Hi folks, Brian Meek with New Concepts again. People ask us about how our saw blade clamps work. Uh, several years ago I made up this oversized cutaway version so that it's a little easier to see. All it really is is a cross, a cross hole that's threaded. It's got a set screw on one side and the knob on the other. Uh, I didn't want to make a knob quite that big so we've got a bolt. But really all you're doing is take the saw blade, stick it in there till it hits the back wall, you know, all, there's nothing behind it so it just stops there, and then you tighten up the knob and that's what does it. You wind up with those two screws going head to head and they clamp very very tightly. Um, however, you can have problems and the biggest one that happens is if the anvil screw, which is this guy here, this little set screw, is too far back. You see how there's kind of a step here? Let me make it worse. See how it's way back there? So if I come in with the knob and go to tighten the blade, watch what happens. People talk about the, the saw blades nipping the ends off their blades. Well, what happens is if the anvil screws too far out, you got to put the blade in there and it's going to break it against that edge. That's what, that's the only thing that's physically capable of causing it to nip the ends of the blades off. All that means is you need to adjust the anvil screw and bring it in so that it's above that hole. Your, go your goal when you're trying to fix these things is to try and get the blade to clamp in the middle of the hole, in the middle of that hole. So sometimes you kind of wind up playing these guys off against each other but that's really what all you need to do is just get it in the middle somewhere and if it's bending or breaking your blades what's going on is that the anvil screw is out too far so bring it in that's all you have to do sometimes what can happen is you know if you're having real trouble with the blade not or with the clamps not holding there's probably a little bit of broken blade down in there that you can't see so the easiest thing to do is just take the knob out, take the knob all the way out, and come in here, don't mess with the anvil screw, come in here with a jet of compressed air and it'll, whatever's, whatever crap is caught in there, it will blow out the hole and then you're back to square one. Um, but that's all that's in there. There's no magic, there's no magic mystery tools in there. There's no, no weird things. It's just two screws going head to head and they're harder than the blades are so they are going to just crush and grab a hold of those blades very very tightly um, if you have any other questions you know as always you can get a hold of us at the website uh, www.newconcepts.com thank you